What's going on you guys? Bryce McKinley, Coach Sharpen, you know what time it is. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about establishing boundaries and setting expectation for your team. By the end of this video, you're not only gonna know how and where and when to establish these boundaries, so that way you can get more work done when your team is not around, but most importantly, setting the expectation so that way your team knows what they're shooting for and when they hit that goal, what the next goal is that you desire for them. So come with me as I talk about setting boundaries and expectations for your team and your acquisition manager. If you don't know Bryce, he's crushing it. He's doing over 50 wholesale deals a month. So I wanna start with setting expectations. When I talk about setting expectations, this isn't just like what time you need to start dialing, what you need to wear, how you need to dress, how you need to act. All of those things are vitally important, especially if you've got an in-house setting and you're trying to build and train up a team. You want your team to be professional, be courteous, be aware that maybe there's ladies in the office or vice versa, that there's men in the office and that you guys all cohabitate. Making sure that you set the expectation on how your business is ran and the, dis the order or disorder or the lack thereof that you allow will set the expectation on how someone performs and acts when they come into your place of business or your establishment. That said, when I also think about expectations, I think about what are those goals? What are those metrics that you want your team to accomplish? I always start with the minimum expectation. Is it $100 a day? Is it $1,000 a day with your triple line dial? Once they've established those expectations, go on to your next set of expectations. And these expectations that I'm referring to on the second half here are really your KPIs or your key performance indicators. You want them to know how many dials they need, yes, but out of those dials, how many conversations should they be having? How many of those conversations should lead to inspections or appointments or contracts, or maybe you're tracking all of that. But whatever you do, set a threshold, set a minimum expectation, and not just what it is, but when it is. Is it as soon as you come out of training, you should have this number to do this number? Or is it maybe it's a month out of training, you should then be doing this by this time. Setting that minimum expectation, but also don't forget to set that goal expectation. Like, I want you to do this, or I need you to do this, but I want you to do this. Those type of expectations being set will help you hold your person accountable, you hold your acquisition team accountable, so that way when they cross your boundaries, you can push back and point back to those expectations. So let's talk about boundaries. When I think of boundaries, I think about what I will and won't do for my team, but also what I will and won't allow in my place of business. Whether you're doing your business virtual like myself and you have Zoom meetings, or maybe you have a brick and mortar and your team is meeting at a location. Make sure that you establish boundaries that you will and won't accept X, Y, and Z behaviors. Not only that, what you will and won't do for your team. Let me give you an example. I will not allow people to put other people down in my organization. If I find it, it's an immediate grounds of termination and we're gonna have a conversation about it. Number two, negativity. If I see and feel that negative energy, you may be asked to leave. And I would encourage you to do the same. We all have bad days, sure, but I'm not gonna allow a continuous cancer in the cell or in the organization bring the rest of the team down. And if it happens, make sure that you nip it in the butt right away. And last but surely not least, when I think of boundaries, I think about what I will and won't do for that acquisition manager. Notice I step back. This is when you pull away. Like, are you gonna continue to run comps for the diva on the team every day, day in and day out when they think they've got a problem? Or maybe they think they have a property or maybe they think they just can't figure it out and they keep handing every day or every other day a property that they want you to comp. Make sure you hold your boundary. Make sure you say, hey, is there a reason why you can't do this? Or do you just need help figuring it out? Or do you need a better understanding? Why don't you ask the rest of the team so that way the team can support you and maybe they learn together with you. Whatever you do as the leader of your organization, not only set the expectations, but keep your boundaries and make sure that you set a precedence as to what you will and won't do for the team, not just as a unit, but individually, because that one bad apple can spoil it 
for the rest of your organization. Hey guys, Bryce McKinley here, Coach Sharpen. You know what time it is. I wanna personally thank you for watching these videos. You see, you might wanna to subscribe to this channel, and I'm not just saying that to get more followers, but the knowledge that I draw, I guarantee you won't get anywhere else. You see, the information that I give is not just the fluff that every other poo-roo, screw-roo, and bleh, guru talks about. You might want to stay alert for what's happening next. So subscribe, hit the notification bell to keep you posted. You're not going to want to miss what I drop on this channel.